Hi guys, it's Let's Learn Serbian. Uh, speaking English. Well, English is my mother tongue. The Kosovoci, they're a lie. You may remember me from such classics such as 10 reasons why Serbian is better than English. Lep jezik. 10 reasons why Serbian is more difficult than English. Liljana. 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 Am I doing it right? I'm actually taking the opportunity today to recreate the very first video that I ever made on this channel. My name is Liz and today I'll be sharing with you my most embarrassing mistakes in the Serbian language. Tisu besplatna. Besplatna. Hey look, everyone's that somewhere. And I'm going to share with you guys today another three mistakes. Uh, and excuse me for the mess, like I'm sitting right next to a roll of uh, fol folio? Fol uh, bubble, bubble wrap. So this happened very early on in my Serbian language learning journey. So our teacher asked us, how do you create the female version of lepa? if someone is beautiful. So for the male it would be lepotan and for the female it would be lepotica. Let me explain. So what I learned is that if you want to make the feminine of something, there are three possible endings. Ica, ka or kinya. Na prime srpkinya, hrvatica i posanka. And it's one of those things where you just have to feel, you know? You have to feel the Serbian. These things are churning in my mind and I go, žena koja je lepa, je naravno, logično, lepinja. And my teacher just started laughing. Turns out, lepinja is actually this. It's a type of bread. And she was like to me, like, you know what? It actually makes a lot of sense. Odakle vam je lepotica? Like, why, why? Like, I have this big problem with prefixes. By simply adding a prefix, you're completely changing the word. Like, for example, govoriti, ugovoriti, dogovoriti, odgovoriti, pregovoriti. So you also have the noun versions of those, like ugovor, pregovor, izgovor. And they all mean different things. I've learned since then, it's a lot easier now. But there was one time at the gym, and I wanted to ask my friend if she had finished so I could use the rack after her. What you usually say is, have you finished? Instead of saying that, I said, Yasi svršila. Now for those of you who aren't following, svršiti, yes, technically, is the definite version of završiti, technically. But it's also slang for whether or not you have come. Like she let me say it a few more times just for fun, but luckily I learned. And so my last mistake is actually outside of Serbia, in Bosnia. Let me give you some context. So I went to Sarajevo to film a video working with my friend who owns a travel agency called Bosnia Experience. If you're ever traveling to Bosnia, I would highly recommend you reach out to him. I'll put the Instagram below. As part of the Bosnian experience, we wanted to make burek. And after she had shown me how to make burek, there was a separate section where we were going to make cheese pita. Maybe it's just easier for me to show you the video. Yeah. So this is thing in Bosnia and that is burek je samo sa mesom. Like burek is only with meat. And these are the sorts of things that you learn when you travel outside of Serbia. What's one of the really beautiful things that you'll see along this journey through the Balkans by Vespa, which I hope you've been following, is that I pick up a lot of things along the way. I could go on and on and on and on about so many different mistakes that I make. Like I always say, which in my mind means I miss you, but it actually means you miss me. Like all of those like reflexive verbs, I, I always mistake. I can definitely say that after three years, I have learned a lot. For those of you who have watched my videos from the very beginning and until now, I hope that you can see the difference in the way that I speak. And I've also also noticed a difference in the way that I look and also I feel calmer these days like I feel like I'm not so messed up <laughs> it's a lot of change that has happened in the last three years and I definitely have Serbi to thank for that foreigners that are learning Serbian let me know what I can help you guys with because I want to make more language related content kind of like the classic Liz Learn Serbian content alongside the travel videos. I do have an announcement to make. Throughout these three years, I have had help. 
and have had someone that was kind of guiding me through this journey of learning Serbian and that is Belgrade Language School. Now Belgrade Language School is opening their registrations for classes for new people that want to learn Serbian or improve their Serbian. It is online so you can learn from anywhere in the world. For example, I was learning Serbian from Australia before I came to Serbia. Registrations open on the 1st of December and they're closing on the 15th of December and they're only accepting 20 students because uh, I believe that they limit classes to only three to five students per class. I will leave the link for Belgrade Language School below. Good luck learning Serbian and don't give up, don't give up. You can do it. Hard and it's frustrating and you wanna cry sometimes, but it's worth it in the end. And Serbian people are so wonderful and so encouraging when you just speak like a few words of Serbian. So don't be afraid. Pričaj srpski da te se osvet razume. Ciao.